Tom Mills here, and I'd like to introduce Rainer of Dagger Energy. Welcome. Hello, Tom. Good to be here. Nice to have you here. Dagger is uh, well known in the solar energy field as a supplier of trackers. Absolutely. Tell us a bit about them and, and why trackers are so important to uh, microfit and fit projects. Looking at uh, tracking technology means that you have the advantage of facing the sun or in our technology the spot where you have the highest energy production all the time compared to a fixed installation where you face just one direction and have, uh, in the worst case once a day you have a good production rate. Okay. So we have an example behind us of some dual axis trackers. Yes, we do. And uh, the dual axis really means that it can tilt in a few different directions. Yes, dual axis means you have dual two axis. When the sun is on a lower level and then it rises to the south and to the upper level, we do one axis, we go up and down, and the other axis goes from east to west, so it can really perfectly follow the sun. So tell us a bit more about Dagger Energy and, uh, and your history in the marketplace. Talking about Ontario, uh, last two years we've been uh, growing pretty much in Ontario, looking at the microfit installations. I recently did a calculation and uh, trackers installed in microfits. We have a market share of approximately 70%, so quite enormous. We have two products that fit perfectly into the microfit area, which is either you install two trackers giving 10 kilowatts of energy, or you install one tracker giving 10 kilowatts, so perfectly fit for those microfit uh, installations. Okay. As we've done other installations in other places in the world and in Canada also that are larger than 10 kilowatts, so we do have some experience in installing uh, hundreds of kilowatts and megawatts. So for fit installations, that's also a good fit and we have good experience in doing those projects. So where a micro fit installation may be, as you're suggesting, two five kilowatts or one 10 kilowatt, yep. um, in a fit installation, you could see a farm of these trackers. That's the way it is. So Rainer, this is a small version of your dual access tracker? It's a small, a small model where we can show the advantages of our technology, uh, the maximum light detection technology. Okay. We use those sensors that are patented that uh, bring us in the position to always find the situation where we have the best light source for having highest energy production which uh, might not only be the sun, but in cloudy days, it might also be that um, we are going in a more horizontal position to take advantage of diffuse light, or if you have snow on the ground, which sometimes happens in Ontario, I heard, uh, we can also go a bit steeper like this and take advantage of the reflections. Hmm, okay. So it's intelligently finding where the brightest spot is. The brightest spot to have the highest energy production, to have the best uh, ROI for a customer. Okay. Well, and so that, that's a really good example of, of the dual axis nature of being able to turn side to side or the tilt angle. Yep. Up and down. And typically the sun coming up on one side, the tracker is going to turn to that direction? Absolutely. So if it's heading west, it shows here on that side that there's a sun from behind and it makes it move until it arrives in the east. Okay. And then that's just going to follow it all the way across the sky? Yes, yeah, so you're going to follow it if the sun is down, getting up, and it's moving to the highest position in noon, and it's going down to, to sunset in the west again. And these are all the movements and all the angles a tracker can have. Cool. So it's really about creating more energy out of the sun to get the, the, the higher return on investment from the system. Absolutely, without using much ground, because we use less ground than with a fixed insulation to have the same production rates. Hmm. So I know Dagger is, is famous for your dual axle trackers, but you also have a single axis product as well. Yes, and we can see it right here. It's currently in the certification process for CSA certification and will be available on the market from approximately February on. Okay. It's a very nice fit uh, for installations that have to be simple, where you don't have much space, cottages, cabins outside, maybe off-grid installations. And it is a standard tilt angle to be heading towards the sun. And it's moving over one axis from east to west, so it can also follow the sun and always in a good uh, position. Hmm. You know, oftentimes for, for space, uh, like the size of a track or the height and so forth, somebody might want to use a ground mount. Yep. This would seem to be a kind of a compromise between those two. I mean, we're still going to get higher production out of a single axis tracker than a ground, than a, than a static ground mount. Is that correct? Absolutely. You get uh, approximately 30% more production rates of, uh, compared to fixed installations. And as this is, uh, you're talking about ground mount, there are also other possibilities to install this tracker because it's not that heavy. It's a perfect fit for landfills also maybe. 
and you can also if you have a good roof maybe on professional building commercial buildings or public buildings you can also mount it on flat roofs hmm. okay and so comparing that then about 30 percent uh compared to a static how does that then compare to the dual axis? The dual axis is going to provide more power. The dual axis, uh, we have production rates in average that are in the area of 45% more production compared to fixed installations. Hmm. So about another 10 to 15% in the dual axis versus the single. Absolutely, yeah. Hmm. But that's still significant in terms of our return on investment. That's still significant, yes. Uh, we have installation of both uh, installations of small and larger sizes. So you always have to calculate which is the best fit for your application for your needs. Uh, Maybe the dual axis, which has the high output, the high production rates for the large projects sometimes. If you have some restrictions in place or height or weight, it might be the single axis tracker. So this is the control center of the brains of the dual axis tracker? More or less, yes, and it helps to showing how the controls of the tracker work uh, and how it's optimized not only with those sensors that uh, show the brightest spot in the, in the, uh, in the sun mm -hmm. or the brightest spot of light to have the highest uh, energy production, which is, for example, the snow sensor here, which shows when the tracker is fully loaded with snow before it breaks down and it's not breaking down. It's going into a steep position so the snow can glide off and it's mm -hmm. going back again in operational position to be aware of that situation and not being in danger of having too much too heavy uh, weight on a tracker. If there is wind we have the wind sensor and if this is moving and this is showing there is too much wind we have a stable position which is the horizontal position there we can have much wind and we can stand much wind and this is the sensor that shows us now that's the situation we have wind you have to go there in that position and now the wind is gone we can go back into the perfect operational position. So it's not just about controlling in terms of tracking the sun, but there's a safety element here as well in terms of protecting the unit. Absolutely, and we've done uh, much work on calculating the statics with this tracker, uh, not only from the weight and not only from the wind. We've gone through a wind channel test with this tracker, uh, but also snow and, and uh, carrying out and balancing out the weights of the panels we have on the tracker. So this is something that's well calculated out and these controls help to have it perfectly operating for a long time. German engineer. Absolutely. Most of these products are, that's kind of the history of where Dagger's from? Yes. German engineered, but made in Ontario to fit the microfed requirements. That's German engineering that's pat patented internationally with a German product, and we uh, exported the controls to uh, Ontario where it's mounted, where it's manufactured. So major part is done here in Ontario in the area of Kitchener. Hmm. Very good. Thank you. I so, appreciate you uh, giving us an introduction to it. Thank you for having you here.